Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be looking at the second portion of the Europa weapons. So if you guys don't know, this is the fifth weapon that we're looking at right now. If you guys didn't see my first video, I'll have it in the description below. But basically, the video I didn't want the video to be too long. If you guys don't know, the last video was like 20 minutes long and we were halfway there. So I didn't want to make a 40 minute video and I mean, any more content, I guess. So let's look at the first weapon for this video, which would be the fifth weapon in total. Coriolis Force. This is an energy fusion rifle in the aggressive frame. And I am going to say something really weird. I love this weapon. It's really weird. I usually don't like fusion rifles. I think they're pretty dog shit, but this one just hits different. I don't know what it is, but I like it. And you know, let's look at the perks so ambitious assassin pulse monitor under pressure killing wind moving target and feeding frenzy for the first row for the second row it's going to be slideways eye of the storm unrelenting range finder one for all and thresh so probably heard a new, another new perk right there which is called one for all which literally reminds me of my hero academia which is hilarious to me hitting three separate target it targets increased damage for a moderate duration this one's really weird to have on a fusion rifle, but I guess I, I I just don't know. Like, does it does it work like once you hit one guy, you have like ten seconds to hit two other people, then you have the the duration like on it, or is it like just literally like just one hit and then whenever you want hit the second one and whenever you want hit the third one and then you get the duration? This one could be really good or it just can be really weird. So that's it let's look at all the perks so for pve basic pve i would most likely go with like under pressure killing wind and a vicious assassin most likely uh pulse monitor probably not moving target probably not for pve and then feeding frenzy <sighs> man they killed that perk so the second all right let's be real like feeding frenzy should not have given you outlaw levels off the first kill but i feel like you have, you have to get to like the third kill now which in pve is fine it's just that like in pvp it's just okay like whatever dog so that's pretty much my gripe with it for the second row it's going to be slideways ice storm uh personally i would probably go with like thresh range finder i could see slideways i would probably say slideways as well that's for basic pve for pvp obviously under pressure is probably going to be the best one in that it improves stability and accuracy as the weapon gets lower as you already know you get like two two rounds in the chamber for the for pretty much every special so it's already going to be proccing under pressure it's literally just going to be bonus at that point uh i could see people saying killing wind i would say killing wind personally just because of that weapon range and mobility and handling but you do have to get a kill for that Moving target is also another one I can see people uh, be talking about. For the second row, I don't know if Rangefinder would be the play for that. Um, Thresh, most likely. And then Slideways. For high end PvP or high end PvE, I would never use a, a fusion rifle. I don't care how much I like this weapon, I would never use this. There's no point. So I, I no, I, I'm not gonna even know. I'm not even gonna entertain the thought. So, for the next weapon, is going to be Bone Chiller. This is an energy shotgun in the Precision Frame family. And it's pretty interesting because this weapon also has a new perk as well. So, for the first row of perks, it's going to be Firmly Planted, Dual Loader, Lead from Gold, Surplus, Auto Loading Holster, and Triple Tap. For the second row, it's going to be Dragonfly, Demolitionist, Slideways, One for All, Threat Detector, and Opening Shot. So, let's talk about Dual Loader. Reloads two shells at a time, but reduces reload speed. So my my gripe with this perk in general is that if you do not if you do not have like a hunter, a maybe a warlock with uh, transversive steps, a titan using the reload barricade, then that reload speed is very fucking noticeable. It's a negative fifty. The base stats on this is really a forty eight on reload, so there's, it gives you almost no reload. My gripe with it is it's so slow that it's probably faster just to reload two rounds individually. Now, if it was like a, a negative to like 25, I would give, I'd be like, okay, that's a little bit better. 
but it, I think it's just too much. Obviously, dual loader would be, be like great with slideways because slideways does actually proc dual loader. So if you get like dual loader with like opening shot or like actually that's not fair if you get dual sh dual loader with opening shot i probably say just keep that just because that's a i would say personally that's pretty good but if you get it with anything else aside from slide sh slideways or opening shot then i'd be like ah, you might have now maybe threat detector but like i just dude that reload speed is really fucking slow and it kills my soul <sighs> like i said if you if you have any way to like really circumvent the reload animation then dual loader is actually really good as a hunter you re you do the dodge you get two rounds back that's awesome uh if you have slideways even better because you just slide and reload but for me dual loader is just like very gimmicky unless you pair it with something that actually like even demolitionist if you reload if you throw your grenade you instant reload it just feels like if you're not using something to circumvent that reload animation, then it, it is gimmicky. But if you if you have something like demolition and slideways, any of the any of the like abilities that I just mentioned, then it's awesome. It really is. But like I said, that reload speed is dog shit. So PVE, what I what I what I what the fuck, what what would I use? There we go. I'd most likely use lead from gold and opening shot most likely or actually one for all i would want to see how it, one one for all would work on this but it is a precision frame so like for me i kind of don't really care just because it doesn't feel like other precision frame shotguns so that's like the really weird thing also i apologize if you hear my cat but he wants attention and i'm recording so he cannot get my attention so uh i probably say like dude honestly if like surplus and dual loader could be a thing, oh my god, that would be amazing. But we don't live in that world. Uh, for PVE, yeah, uh, firmly plants would be a good one. Dual loader, I can see. Letter from Gold's one of my favorites. Uh, surplus would be an awesome one, and then triple tap would be a great one for PVE. Uh, Auto loading holster would be great if it was in the other slot. Like I said, uh, Dragonfly would probably be one that I would like to use. Actually, fuck, dude, can you imagine like? Uh, triple tap with like dragonfly would be fucking funny to use demolition is a great perk to use slideways is a great perk one for all i would be really interested to use threat detector on top of like dual loader would be interesting to see and then opening shots just a great all, all around so i think the per the one that i have is assault mag uh dual loader and opening shot i think that's the one that i got not sure off the top of my head honestly but for PvP, uh, you could do dual loader, uh, surplus, auto loading holster. I can see firmly planted is great as well. For PvP on the second row, opening shots great, slideways is great, P uh, demolitions. Ah, I don't know if it's great or not. And that's pretty much it for PV for high end PVE. I don't know to be honest. Lead from gold probably be good. Uh, one for all if the damage is pretty good. Yeah, I don't I don't know much about PvE, PvP, high-end PvE for this one, but let's look at the last two. These are going to be power weapons. So the first one is a machine gun and a rapid frame fire or rapid fire frame. So that's really interesting. Let's look at some of the perks. Killing Wind, Quick Draw, Zen Moment, Underdog, Hip Fire Grip and field prep for the first row for the second row it's going to be dragonfly Ooh, dynamic sway reduction wellspring snapshot sights demolitionist and tap the trigger so if i remember correctly i have killing wind and demolitionist if that is the one that i have then i love that role because it's great i get my a grenade really fast and i'm proccing killing wind most of the time so i'd probably tell you killing wind with demolitionist wellspring dynamic sway reduction would be an interesting one to have and tap to trigger would be great as well obviously if we had like dynamic sway reduction with tap to trigger that'd be fucking amazing but we don't live in a fun world and yeah honestly like maybe in pvp you'd want to go for like quick draw and something else i could see that quick draw and snapshot sites that would be fucking that'd be foul bro what the fuck but yeah i I like this weapon a lot. It's one of my personal favorite LMGs. Pro probably one of like the only ones we have aside from like maybe one or two. But I would say you should get this weapon just because having an LMG is always useful. 
it's really fun to clear ads with it not only that it's just overall fun for me and killing wind and demolitionist is a really good perk to have or a really good uh perk selection to have i can see people asking or telling me wellspring is good as well just because like i said an lmg is usually for uh trash killing and if you have wellspring you're always gonna get your ability up faster than anything else really so yeah i can see the I can see people hype this weapon up, even though it's probably not gonna get hyped because for some reason people don't like LMGs. They think it's dog they're dog shit. Me personally, I think they're just fun. But they are not pe they're not like they're not boss damage, so that's probably why people don't like them. Last but not least, let's look at the weapon type that everyone thinks is just dog shit for a good reason. It's a, a rocket launcher. A rocket launcher and it's just I don't even care to be honest. It's like uh, what the fuck ever precision frame whatever the fuck that means it actually means that it has auto tracking on it so you don't need auto tracking on these even still these are still bad so let's see why they're bad so killing wind moving target ambitious assassin underdog surplus and quick draw for the first row for the second row it's going to be chain reaction unrelenting cluster bomb thresh demolitionist and snapshot sites and i also have to say that oh okay Never mind. I was going to say that this has a legendary magazine that can give you two rockets, but it's not. It's an impact casing, increases stability. Why the fuck would you have a magazine with two rounds in it? Okay, whatever. I'm going to get I'm going to get mad if I think about it. So, uh whatever you want, honestly, rocket launchers are dog shit. So, if you run a, a rocket launcher for PvE, then I guess you could rock like maybe oh, fuck surplus and demolitionist maybe maybe or no 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 thresh run a uh, run i wonder if an ambitious assassin actually gives you like two or three rounds if it does then run ambitious assassin with like thresh i guess that's it that's really all the weapons i'm not gonna say even more just because like it's a rocket launcher they're dog shit like Oh man, dude, I really love make that video of like why rocket launchers are dog shit and I don't care if you tell me, but if you pair it, if you pair it with that war mine buff, it's good. No, dude, like, no, that's sad. The fact that I have to pair something to make it good or viable, just make it viable. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the weapons. Personally, from this list, I liked Coriolis a lot for just fucking around in general. I use it for basic PVE. I would never use it in high-end pvp or high-end pve pvp i could probably use it and be effective with it uh, bone chiller i've used a bunch in pve i haven't used it in pvp mostly because i'm afraid it just feels like the weapon itself feels really fucking fat and if you guys know the precision frames they feel really like small fluid like i don't know i it's the iron sights for me it just feels fucking fat and thermal erosion i like this lmg a lot it's one of my favorites and then sub-zero salvo is just dog it's a rocket launcher dog like it's it's gaka so <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you for everyone for the support i really do appreciate it and again i apologize that i haven't been posting content but i'm i'm really trying to get that world first my guys so uh just yeah i will see you guys later